Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a line chart with bounded regions. Let's say for example we have a line chart here that we're tracking, I'll say we're tracking production of something and then within the bounded areas we have a target of 85 which is in the middle here and then uh, anything above uh, 35 and below 35 of that 80 is okay but outside of that we get into some um, uh, areas where we wanted to track if that is uh, above a lower bound or upper bound. So I'll show you how to create this type of chart and it's actually fairly easy and let's go ahead and see how this can be done. So let's go ahead and create a, another sheet. I'm going to go ahead and just press the plus sign to create another sheet. Let me go back to the first one. I'm just going to go ahead and, and copy this uh, data here. Let me go ahead and just select this data, control C to copy and then and now just press control V to paste the uh, data in here. Uh, you can see there's some hash marks here. That just means that there's not enough room in this column to fit that. And all you need to do is just go ahead and uh, select that column and double click uh, the border here and it will auto fit that. You can see here there's other things that also, the other that also got cut off. I'm going to go ahead and just select the whole sheet here and double click, double click one of these uh, borders and it will auto fit everything else. So you can at least see that. So what we want to do here first is create a line chart of my quantity. So I'm going to go ahead and select my data here, my range of data here, and insert a line chart. So go under insert, and then I'm going to go and select just the 2D line chart. And so that creates a very simple chart here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, right? So we can see it. And what I want to do next is I want to incorporate the line for the lower bound, the target, and the upper bound. So first, let me go ahead and delete these grid lines here. I don't need these, so it just kind of uh, confuses uh, the uh, the view uh, of what we're trying to see. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and press delete, and those are gone. So I'm going to put the target line in first. You may think that you I would need to select the target line, select that range of cells, and uh, right click here, and or go to select data, and kind of uh, add it. And I can go ahead and do that. I can go and click add, and it comes up with the edit series name. Uh, this, this series is target and my series value. Let me go ahead and just delete this and select my data here, which is uh, from D2 to D25 and click OK. And you now notice that that is in there. Now, instead of going to the right click and select data source and add it, what we can do, an easier way to do it, uh, another way to do it, which would probably be a lot easier, is actually just to select the data. Let me go ahead and select this lower bound data. Control C to copy that data, go into my chart, and then just Control V, and it's going to paste it in there. You can see that it's kind of nicely pasted in there. And so instead of doing those multiple clicking steps, you can actually just do Control C and Control V to paste within uh, the chart. So I'm going to do the same thing with the upper bound here. Select that data, Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste into my chart. So once I've got that set, let me go ahead and start with the target first. So this particular chart works uh, best when we have equidistant or equal distant um, uh, ranges from our target, this going up 35, this going down 35. If we have uh, non-equidistant uh, uh, differences from the target, there's probably another, there's actually probably another way that you can create it and I'll post a link to that in uh, another video that has that particular st those steps. But let's go with this one. So we know that from the target, 35 down will go to the lower bound and 35 up will go to the upper bound. So what I'm going to do is I need to create error bars to kind of show that. Once I have my line selected here, I can go under the chart tools, uh, go under design and go under add chart element. And what I want to do is I want to add an error bar. So I want to add an error bar and get more options here. And what I want to do is create, uh, start to edit this error bar. I want to have the error bar the direction go both ways. So by default, it does go both ways, up and down. I don't need this end cap, this little, uh, little horizontal bar there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that end cap. Excel has determined that the fixed value is going to be 20, but we don't want 20. We want 35 each way. So I'm going to go ahead and type 35, press the tab to, to execute that. And you can see that now the error bars have gone up 35 and gone down 35. Now what we need to do is we need to change the color of these error bars and kind of make them wider. So it gives the appearance that this area uh, is our target green area. So I'm going to go under the paint bucket here under fill and line and under the color I'm going to select green. Let's see a nice green here. You can see that the lines have turned green now and now I'm going to increase the width. 
to an appropriate width. You can see as I increase it, it starts to get bigger and overfill that white space. Now I kind of know that this will probably go up to like 2930, but depending on how large your chart is or your plot area, you may need to adjust that later on. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of click the up arrow to see how far I need to bring this. Let me see. This can go up to probably, uh, let's see, 20, maybe 28. Let's do 28 for now, and I'll show you how you can adjust it later on, or what happens when we move our our chart a little bit. We need to adjust it later on. So this 28 looks good. Now what I want to do next is I want to get, um, or I want to adjust this red line. I don't want this to be too uh, dramatic. I want to have it kind of um, kind of fade into the background. So I'm going to change that line color to something else. So I selected that. There's this color here. I'm going to change that to a, a gray probably this middle gray here, white, or white with the background, and also reduce the width to probably, I'm going to say, 0.5. Press Tab, and now you can faintly see that line, and I'm pretty much done with the middle section here. Now all I need to do now is do the same thing with some adjustments for the lower bound and the upper bound. So let's do with the lower bound here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the line, and also go under Design, and add Chart Elements, and also do an arrow bar. So I'm going to select arrow bar here, Oops, and then go under more arrow bar options. And for this particular um, lower bar one, uh, you can see that I still have my navigation pane here, format arrow bars, but I'm still on the fill and line color. I want to go over to the arrow bar options here. For this arrow bar, I want to do minus. I don't want it to have go up. I want it to just have the minus. I want it to have go down. I don't need the end cap, so I'm going to click on that. And I want to have the fill of this anything all the way down to zero. So basically the lower bound is at 50 so when you think about it we went from zero to 50. So my fixed value here is going to be 50. All right? Click. I'm going to press the tab to kind of execute that and now you can see the error bars are down there. So I want to change the color now to something that would represent that lower bound. So it's going to be yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and change that color to yellow because that's kind of like a, a warning in a way. Uh, not too extreme like a red, but a warning there. So, and I'll, since this was around, I believe, 28, I'm going to go ahead and just select that and change it, type in 28 and press tab. So that pretty much completes that. And the last thing I want to do here for the lower bound one is to change the, um, the size of that. And let me go ahead and select that uh, under the color. It's, let's see, it's selected a gray here, but I'm going to take this particular white background one and make it small. So this is going to be 0.5 like the other one. 0.5, press tab, and now you can see it's kind of receded into the background. So I'm going to do the same thing here, but just a little bit more a different change here for the uh, upper bound one. Click on the upper bound line. That's selected. Go under Design, add a chart element, add the arrow bar, uh, more arrow bar options, and we're going to go do the same thing here, where we have our arrow bar options. And instead of having this minus, this has got to be plus. This has got to go up now. So I'll click on the uh, plus radio button. Uh, this doesn't need a cap. I don't need that little cap there. I'm going to take it off. And then the fixed value. Now it's it it defaulted to 20, uh, 20 points here. So maybe I wanted to go up to uh, uh, 160 because my highest point here, if I go kind of scroll over here, my highest point is probably at around, uh, let's see, 147. So it's not going to go over 150, but let's give it some wiggle room. and give it to 160. So 120 uh, plus what would equal 160? And that's going to be 40, right? So it's on a, it only needs to go up 40 to get to that 160 mark. I can also change uh, the axis here, but I'm going to go ahead and just have it go up to 140 right here and press tab. And now it goes up to 140. And you see as I did that, it adjusted it. Later on, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the, um, the maximum uh, uh, amount for that Y axis. And I'll show you how to do that later. But we're going to do the same thing here and now and give it a different color. So I'm going to go under the fill in line. And for the color, let's give it a, uh, uh, let's say, let's give it an orange color. Let's see what that, that looks like. That might be okay. Let me, let me change my color a little bit. I'll select, I'll go into more colors and see if I can give it another color. Let me move that around. Maybe that red. Maybe the red here. Click OK. And let's see how that works out. And since I knew the width of the other ones around 28, I'm just going to type, select that, and press 28, press tab. And now we've got a little bit of a dark reddish orange there. So that filled out that particular boundary line. 
I want to change the line here. Select that line. I want to change that to a gray. So I'm going to go ahead and select that line. And then select on my uh, white background there. And also change the width size to 0.5. Press tab. And now that's taking care of that. Let me see. And let me go and click outside of the chart and see how that looks. Now we've got that looking pretty good. Now one thing that we also might want to change is you notice that the line started here. We want that line to maybe kind of go to the edge. So on the left here, it kind of is a little bit outside of that edge. And on the right here, it's outside of the edge. Maybe we wanted to go to the edge. So what I want to do is I, I can click on the X axis category. And then under for my format axis, under the axis options, what I want to do is change the axis position, not between the tick marks, but on the tick marks. So it is on the tick marks. You can see that it is on the tick marks there right now. So as I mentioned before, I wanted to change the, the Y axis to kind of uh, leave, not have too much space there. So I'm going to go ahead and just to maybe change that to 170. Let me go ahead and click on the Y axis there. You can see that uh, this has changed here. I'm going to set my maximum axis to 170. Right, and so when I press the tab, you can notice that it's changed a little bit. So it's given me a little bit of space, but not too much. And let me go ahead and move this back here, and close this navigation, this pane here. And now what, now what you've seen here is my line chart, and I've got my boundaries, my red boundaries uh, that are uh, above 120, uh, my 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 green boundary here that is the 85 target here. And we've got a 35 upper and a 35 lower. And we've got my lower boundary, which is 50 or below. So that's the way that we can create a line chart uh, with boundaries. Uh, probably better to put a title on here. And I can go ahead and click on Design, Add Chart Element. Or actually, there's also a, a Add Chart Element here. So I can go ahead and click on that. And I want to add a chart title here. right? And it gives me a chart title. I'm just going to go ahead and type something like uh, Quantity or <laughs> Widget Quantity. Right, widget uh, production. Right, and then that gives me my chart title, and that's my line chart with uh, boundaries. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.